Hello and welcome to How to Code in More. This time we will look on a futuristic mobile office, which means I want to try to connect my Quest 3 directly to my MacBook as an external monitor. Let's see what the current solutions on the market bring, how the quality is, and uh, maybe it's your next mobile office. So if you're interested in videos like this, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thank you. This thing is a video capture card from Ugreen. Uh, you will find the link to Amazon in the description. And the goal of this thing is directly connecting my MacBook to the Quest 3 and use the Quest 3 as an external monitor for all the lines without Wi-Fi. So this thing is really for on the go. Yes, you have a cable, but the good thing is the quality should be good. And furthermore, um, you do not need to have Wi-Fi, right? So let's see how this thing is working. So with a capture card, you have one long end and one short end. Here it says computer and here like phone. But to connect the Quest, you actually need to stick the long end into your Mac. And then we will switch to the video recording of the Quest, where I plug in this thing. See you in a second. OK, ready. So what you need is MetaQuest HDMI link. We will start that. and. Just position the windows. Aha. Uh -huh. And now we say MetaQuest link. Always. Okay. Checklist to connect with your USB capture card. Okay. Record audio. Okay. USB. Okay. Start streaming. Uh huh. So this means, oh, nice. So this means I have actually, I should be able to position. Um, my screens. Uh, here we are. Nice. Nice coding. By the way, this is one of the Angular courses. But as you can see, a good sharp window. Nice size. I mean, I can also do this with my fingers, but I prefer the controllers. And so you can position it nicely. Don't need that window. And you see my big big monitor for on the go. Nice. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for other news. And as you can see here, this is the right way to connect this capture card. And as you can see, um, this is a second monitor, um, which is nicely um, it's full H HD, um, can resize it a bit, move it around. But the good thing really with this solution is yes, you have a cable, but um, you can also charge uh, your MetaQuest. I'm not sure why mine is currently not charging actually. Let me check. It should be no. Currently, it's not charging. Um, maybe my MacBook is not delivering enough energy right now. You remember when I said that you can also charge uh, your MetaQuest? Well, after this, I faced the reality. The Ugreen does not support the power delivery to the MetaQuest. But hold on. I think I found a solution. Let's try it out. 
So my goal is actually getting my screen from the Mac to my MetaQuest. So I have my portable office. But I also want my MetaQuest to be charged. So I think I found a solution. This is a capture card from Hagibis. Uh, link you will find down below. And hopefully this can deliver power to the MetaQuest. It is a little bit different. It does not have USB-C on both sides. One side is, is a slot for an HDMI cable. So you put your HDMI cable into this and then the other side. But a little thing I do not like, obviously, is it is a very short cable. So you do not want to have a thick HDMI cable and possible uh, power delivery cable at your ear. So I thought about, hey, I get just a USB-C extension from Ugreen, also linked down below. Then I have everything on the table and hopefully a working power delivery to my Quest. Stay with me. Uh, by the way, if you are interested in such a content or coding, subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy. Thanks. This is the Hagibus video capture card. And as you can see, it's looking different. So we just have an HDMI port here and here USB-A or USB-C. Luckily, a MacBook Pro has an HDMI port again. Um, so my setup is, I actually do the following. I will plug in an HDMI cable. You can have a shorter one, obviously. Um, that's a, I think it's half a meter or something. Way too long. Um, I ordered a shorter one. Um, I also link for the shorter one. You can find below. So this is plugged into. And now comes my USB-C extension. So if that would be a shorter cable, we directly have this here. And now we have the USB-C extension. And this will go into the MetaQuest. So stay with me. Let's see if that is working. I'll switch to the MetaQuest. So I got my power bank. And let's see if at least this is possible now. Would be nice. Plug that in. Have the code. Start streaming. And switch on my um, my battery. Does it? Hmm. No, not enough. That is not enough. Ah, now it's charging. Just taking a while. Okay, so finally, we are where we want to be. Finally, we have our MacBook Pro connected via HDMI and the capture card with the Ugreen extension to the Quest. I can charge the Quest with external sources like a battery pack or um, the energy from the wall plug. Um, because the issue is, if I would not be able to charge it, while using it, and this is the case, because how should I charge if the USB-C is occupied, right? So now I have, I think, a good setup. Um, let's do a comparison of the capture cards again, because I think, depending on your use case, both have their values. So on the one hand, we have the Ugreen capture card, which has a long cable, as you can see. Um, but it has one drawback, so the power delivery only works with other devices, I guess, so you cannot charge the MetaQuest, that's the point. What is nice is you only have one cable, it's all USB-C, so it's working nicely with one cable there. Well, of course, also with an, uh, without an extension, if you use it with a Quest, this is bouncing next to your ear. On uh, the other hand, uh, we have the Hagibis. Um, so what is the pro? The pro is we can charge our MetaQuest due to the power delivery here. The con is 
Um, obviously, this cable is very short, and you do not want to have power delivery cable bouncing here and then a thick HDMI cable going next to your ear. That's why I decided going for the Ugreen USB C extension. So, if you just go there and plug this in, you can have this long cable at your quest. Um, it's nice, but as you can see, um, you need several cables. In my case, this is a long HDMI. Uh, you can have a short HDMI in the size of this. I think the shortest is uh, 15 centimeters. Um, so it is still okay on the laptop, I would say. This one for my sample here is way too long. Where should I put it on the table? Yeah, so some of you might ask, why are you doing this? You could use potentially Wi-Fi solutions. Well, there might be a video on those, but the purpose is completely different. With my setup, I do not need Wi-Fi at all. I can just use the cable and directly have it in good quality, no interfering. I see my screen as an extension screen, which is very nice and easy to handle. Yes, the other solution with Wi-Fi, like uh, Meta Horizon workspaces, um, they are pointing to a different thing. I think, personally, I'm now happy with the Hagabus card, so I have my screen portable with me when I have my Quest with me. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and see you the next time.